customize these jeans with me. Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my page. I'm Nods and I do trendy DIYs or really whatever I feel like doing. When I tell y'all, these past couple weeks have been crazy with school and with basketball because if y'all don't know, I play basketball. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, the season been crazy. But I'm gonna try to get some more uploads for y'all. You know, for the ones who actually care, which you know, there's not many of y'all. But anyways, so moving on. Um, today we're going to be making these little jeans, these cool patchwork, different jeans that are trending, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, just check out my Depop, check out my Poshmark. Both of them are Nadia. Ooh, both of them are V Nadia Howard. And yeah, let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So for starters, I had these basic behind jeans and I decided to dye them brown with this writ dye. Um, I didn't want to show all the steps because literally the directions are on the bottle. So who wants to watch that anyways? But I really did want to show y'all these camera skills because look at these effects, baby. Broski, woski. Like look at the, look at the steam. Ah, oh, just admire it. Anyways, bye. <laughs> yo this is how it turned out y'all like what is this what is this why is it not brown but i don't mind though because to be honest uh, i'm a hole in the booty but to be honest i'm a this is kind of how i wanted it anyway so yeah i don't know why i made this video dramatic but basically you're just going to cut off little pieces um little squares to make like the patchwork parts blah 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 you know peep the dump truck <laughs> i'm still recording <laughs> aha aha so now we got them cut out uh make sure you keep them in order so you don't lose track i flipped some of the squares inside out just to give it more effect but yeah Okay, so here you can see I just ripped these up a little bit just so I can have a little more sass when I sew it. I'm going to make sure I sew it down now, but sew the pieces align. Like, since I flipped this one inside out, I'm going to make sure that this line, um, okay, this line corresponds with this line and that's so they're aligned, you know, because you don't want it to be wonky. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sew. Yo! And also make sure that the pieces stay the same like don't flop the pieces don't flip it you know you know you dig you dig so make sure the pieces are in the same spot they were when you cut them off the jane so they align again you know the alignment thing yeah i have to sew the pieces like this um together you know and say hi to be doop be doop be doop be doop okay bye Yep, this is it. Um, I just went ahead and left this hole here because I was probably gonna rip it anyway. So why sew it together just to rip it? You feel me? Um, yep, doop. Now I gotta do the other side. <laughs> Period. Okay, bye. So I'm here is my finished. Well, it's not finished, but like the this part is finished. Um, product you see here, I got. I sewed it on. I struggled to sew on because I struggled sewing. <laughs> but here it is. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start adding like patch and more patches and more stuff and more jean and blah blah blah. Okay, bye.
Okay, so next I'm going to cut off this top waistband of these pants, these ugly khaki shorts. This this waistband is a little bit smaller than this one, but I must still use it. So yeah, let me go ahead and cut it up and sew it on and yeah. laid out you just lay it out lay it out lay it out however you like it and then you know, sew them on or glue them on or whatever and keep on laying out pieces of this jean of this pant and okay so you see i'm sewing here and i came into a little problem which was that i ran into these things um and i don't i don't want to like just stop here and then start sewing again like have to stop my sewing thing whatever my sewing stream i don't know so I decided to make sure you cut, cut these. Cut these, go around and layer these on top and that's gonna look cute. <laughs> Just lay the pieces out. Kinda see and feel where you would want things. Okay, so for sewing on this pocket, since I sewed on the pocket below the pocket, below the actual pocket, I just, flipped this little pocket part out so that it doesn't get stuck, you know, and so they can actually still use this pocket. And I just did sew it here and I'm probably gonna like glue down the rest of this flat because I don't feel like sewing that down, but you could sew here and sew here, but I'm just not going to. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make it clear that you don't wanna sew your pocket down. Next, I just sewed these up real quick in the back here, just so they're attached. Um, I didn't do these ones because I'm lazy and I kind of like them hanging like that. It's kind of cute to me. Um, yeah, and now they're pretty much done, so yay, finally. Mm -hmm. 